Okay, good morning, everybody. I'm so happy you managed to join us today uh, to our webinar, Revolutionary Skin Care by Noon Aesthetics, combined with the Derm Shield technology. Uh, we have an hour and a half together, and I'll try to cover as much as possible and give you in-depth explanations. Um, but if you have more questions, you are more than welcome to ask me at the end, and uh, we will address them. Uh, during this time, we will talk about our uh, technology and some case study and our products. And uh, I think that clears everything for you. So now let us begin. We believe that everyone deserves healthy, beautiful skin, and uh, it's pretty difficult sometimes for people to get uh, to know how to treat their skin in a way that would suit their problems. And basically, it's um, to do with the fact that if we want to get results in cosmeceuticals, we need to work with active ingredients. And active ingredients are tricky because on one hand, they give us good results if they are strong and potent and uh, uh, with a low pH. And on the other hand, they may give us some uh, side effects. And we're going to discuss this subject in depth. Noon Aesthetics develops and manufactures a line of uh, professional skincare product. Our ability to provide best in class results is based on our Derm Shield technology that allows us of using high concentration of active ingredients, such as lactic acid, glycolic acid, without the typical side effects. So just like we started saying that there is a dilemma, there is a, a problem when we want to treat our skin with uh, active ingredients, because when we want to get results, we want the maximum ability, let's say of alpha hydroxy acid. So we want high concentration and we want the lowest pH that is possible for the treatment. And uh, we, come across some problems because we get side effects. How is usually the, how usually these things are dealt with? Well, most of the ways that are common uh, to deal with such a thing like uh, itching, stinging, erythema, edema, all the side effects that we are used to see is usually the companies or uh, the manufacturers usually uh, try to reduce the side effects by lowering the acid concentration to minimal level. Uh, that is on one hand good because then you don't have uh, strong side effects on one hand, but on the other hand, uh, the product is uh, less potent and then the result is less uh, evident this way. Uh, this is one way to deal with, uh, to cope with irritation problems. Uh, another way that is a common is um, acidity reduction, meaning to, uh, uh, meaning to make the uh, uh, ingredient to change the pH to a higher pH. The higher pH is, then the uh, less irritation there will be. But here again, we have the same problem. If we get the pH higher, then uh, the product is less active, and then the result is equivalent to that. We don't use buffers and we don't change pH um, for that reason. We do not change our potency of the products. We use our Derm Shield technology and uh, our Derm Shield technology allows us to work with active ingredients, with high concentration, with very low pH levels, with no irritation, burning, redness, and unpleasant sensation. We provide impressive results because of that uh, advantage that we have with the Derm Shield. And the way that it activates the activity within the skin, we will go in depth to understand what's happening in there, but just that you know, I want to point out a few things that it does. Firstly, it selectively suppresses tingling, burning, and itching without any sense of local anesthesia or on the treated area. This is not numbing in any way suppresses erythema and edema of the skin, prevents neuro neurologic inflammation, and suppress cytokines formation in the carotenocytes, which is the early stages, the initiation of inflammation. And how does it do that? 
how do we manage to get that from the derm shield technology? In order to understand that, let us look at a scheme or a sketch of um, an illustration uh, that represent the skin structure and talk a little bit about what's happening within the skin that uh, before we talk about the derm shield and the way that it uh, helps us with that event. So what is actually happening within our skin when we use active ingredients? Let's say we take some very potent um, product or peel that contains 50% 50, 50 lactic uh, glycolic acid with pH under one, and we um, spread it over the skin. The typical reaction would be erythema, edema, itching, burning, unpleasant sensation, and the client wouldn't feel very comfortable. And why is that? In this little illustration, you can see this part represents the epidermis. This is the surface of the skin. This part, the papillar, this is the dermis. This whole area, as you can see in the sketch, is very much active and alive when we are uh, using active ingredients just uh, for, for a uh, demonstration, if we take the 50% glycolic with a pH under one. What is actually happening, this little bush uh, illustration is the edges of the nerve of a, a type of a type of sinus receptor, a nerve. And this nerves, nerve knows how to uh, detect changes of pH on our skin. And if anything that is different from our pH touches us, our skin, this particular nerve sends a signal, an electrical impulse through the spinal cord to the brain. The brain translates it into stinging, burning, and itching. And on the same time, if the irritant ingredient is strong and potent, then these little branches of the type sinus receptor is starting to release neuropeptides. And neuropeptides that release towards the blood vessels cause them to expand, to widen up. If this is prolonged, this first of all shows you, you get uh, the redness, the typical redness comes from that. And if it is prolonged, and it can be many times when you use a strong ingredient, then plasma can escape the walls of the blood vessels, causing edema. And uh, this is something that is very common. We see it a lot, the redness, when we use strong ingredients. Another thing that can happen is that neurotransmitters, uh, neuropeptides can be activating the mast cells that they will start releasing histamine. And then you start to feel the itchiness on your skin. This adds up to the redness and the puffiness and all of this picture that we see here of activation is called neurologic inflammation. And that is only by the uh, fact that uh, the edges of this nerve, the receptors of type sinus receptor, send a strong signal to the brain and to the surrounding of what is actually happening here. Without these signals, this event wouldn't happen the redness, the puffiness, the itchiness, you wouldn't have that. So it all depends on this transmission. The stronger the ingredient is, the faster the transmission would be. And the brain would translate it to stronger event on your skin and stronger sensation. Our derm shell technology is actually referring to those communicating with these little uh, receptors. It is not changing by any way the pH of the peel or the um, or neutralize partially the peel or anything like this. It only address those little receptors to get the transmission sent to the brain slower, to, to slow it down. And when it's slowing down, the brain gets something. The, get, the brain gets a message, but it is very blur, meaning that and, and as a response, you would feel some maybe tingling, some little burn, but not something serious, not something dramatic. And at the same time, these 
releasing of neuropeptides wouldn't happen because the um, electrical impulse would be too slow and would need to activate this system. So you see, this gives a real advantage point to us because when you get rid of side effects, you can be free of them and start working with so many different types of skin. We can work with sensitive skin and we can work with um, very dark skin and we can work with uh, seborrheic skin, rosacea, um, many different problems we can do a good job with just because of this beautiful derm shield technology. And this is our edge point. And on this we build everything we do. And this would give you great results when you know how to use the line of products. Today, we're gonna cover uh, some of uh, the, the product line, but I'm mainly gonna concentrate on the, uh, Parasutical because I want to emphasize and explain to you how beautifully the Derm Shield works. And uh, I will touch some of the essential that is supportive to the pharmaceutical products. We will not be able to cover the whole line in an hour and a half, but I'll do my best and you're more welcome to ask me questions at the end. Just generally that you know, we have over 40 professional skincare products. They're um, divided to three categories. The pharmaceutical category, which uh, of course under that we have all the active ingredients for home care and essential products that are supportive for the treatment, such as uh, sun protectors, moisturizers, and, and uh, more, and the in-clinic products. So today we will talk about the in-clinic, pharmaceutical, and touch a little bit on the essential. Before we begin, I just want to talk about peels. Generally speaking, what is considered to be a peel? Because peelings are very popular and the use of the word is something that we use every day. It's very common in our field. But what actually is considered to be a peel? A peel treatment should be a treatment that is riding on the skin's natural ability to regenerate. That is actually causing the basalic layer for a higher mitosis, that we have a higher rate of epidermal regeneration of the, the cell uh, dividing and the cells regenerate, regenerating. It's not just flaking or peeling the, the dead skin of the statum corneum. It is also the ability to cause the basalic layer to be more effective. And that these two elements, to get the ability to get rid of dead cells together with activating or uh, stimulating the basalic layer to be more productive, more healthy and, and, and uh, uh, better uh, functioning, these two things, these are the, uh, the ones that we need to uh, know if they're happening, if we use an ingredient and we want to call it peeling. Because sometimes people refer to peelings, even, you know, scrubs can be described as peeling by many people, but that is not by definition of peeling. It is more getting rid of really tiny bits, a lot of dirt and tiny bits of, of dead skin uh, but it's not really stimulating anything underneath. So it's maybe an extra cleansing, can be called an extra cleansing, but it would not be called a peel. In the peeling world, in the chemical peels world, uh, there is, we have um, three categories. And these three categories, under these three categories, all the peels falling. We have the superficial type of peels, which are um, mainly alpha hydroxy acid based or beta hydroxy acid based, like salicylic, alpha hydroxy, like glycolic acid, and pyruvic acid, for instance. We have medium peel, which is TCA 35, 40%, what, what, uh, what's most popular. And uh, we have the deep peel, which is in chemical peels uh, represented by phenol. When we talk about 
peers and their action, then you need to bear in mind that superficial kind of peers, their activity or the exfoliation uh, or the um, uh, release of dead cells would be in the epidermis part. When we talk about medium peel, we talk about a peel that is actually accumulating tissue and all the way, to all the epidermis, leaving the basalic layer intact, but affecting in deeper into the dermis. And phenol is a very toxic ingredient. It's very effective, but, but very, very toxic. This is a peel done in a um, uh, surgery room and uh, it is consuming the tissue all the way, including uh, the basalic layer. And this kind of peel leaves the skin very pale because you lose your melanocytes that sits in the basalic layer. You don't have them anymore. And sometimes you can see the different color. If someone had such a peel, you would see maybe around the neck that there are the, the color of the face and the color of the neck would be slightly different because of the fact that it, you lose your melanocytes when you do that. It's still done, but I, I think it's not uh, that popular, but it is still very effective. Uh, and you can do it once in a lifetime. Our peels are uh, under the superficial type of peel. We are, uh, when we work with peels, uh, we need to know uh, the few parameters that are actually uh, uh, def defining for us uh, how active they are, what is causing their, them to be active. In, for instance, alpha hydroxy acid, in order for us to know what it can do for us, we need to know the concentration of the acid, the pH level of the acid, and the time of application also determines how strong the acid would act on our skin. When we talk about other peels like salicylic based peels or pyruvic based peels, here again, we have concentration that is important, pH levels, time of application, but also the amount applied. Because if I use maybe uh, one milliliter or I use five, it's a big difference that would be much stronger. It is defined, the strength defined also by the amount. So when we work with uh, these kind of peels, we need to, to take care and know that. And we may many times use that for multi-layer peels that is very effective, but we do it with a thought. We use our uh, protocol management book that you probably already have and we follow the instructions just to get the right amount because that really is important and that's really counts. The first peeling we're gonna talk about is a very um, um, versatile peel. It's called G Peel 50. And just like its name, it's contained, it contains 50% glycolic acid with a derm shield technology and the pH is under one. When we use this peel, and this peel is actually used daily on, on a constant daily basis because it is suitable for most skin types and most skin conditions, we use it with a prepel conditioner and a neutralizer. A prepel conditioner is a, a prep to the peel. It is a degreasing stage, and it also contains the derm shield technology. And the, this kind of prepel conditioner, this kind of degreaser, has, um, uh, we, ha we do it with every peel, but at the end of uh, the peel session, we neutralize the same as, uh, with, uh, the same, the, the fact that we neutralize is uh, not the same, sorry, as a, with every peel. Some peels need neutralizing and some peels don't. This peel requires neutralizing. And this peel, when we use it at the end of the time that we set, we're using the neutralizer, it also contains the derm shield technology. Some peels that we don't need that would be S peel, which is salicylic based, we will cover that, and peruvic bay, uh, and sorry, and um, uh, basically the salicylic based uh, peels. Okay, what does it do for us? First of all, why 50% glycolic acid? 
Why 50? Because there are 30 and 15 and 20. Why, why 50? Why do we need such a high amount, such a high concentration? Well, it is proven by um, impartial research and this subject of peels ha has been extensively researched. It is proven that when you use 50% glycolic uh, acid with a pH that is at least under 1.2, you get an extra benefit because the acid not only working as a superficial peel just on the epidermis alone, it is actually penetrating the dermis area and it's affecting the dermis activity. It stimulates uh, uh, the dermis to uh, regenerate. And the way that it does that, it is not like in the epidermis when we, uh, apply, it on an epi we apply the peel, so in the epidermis, it works on uh, weakening the connection between the cells in the, in, in the uh, upper layer of the skin, like in the statum corneum and in also in the epidermis uh, itself. And this way, gradually, microscopically, we lose uh, dead cells. It's not doing that in the dermis because the structure of the dermis is completely different. We have the collagen fibers and the elastin and the glycosaminoglycan and glycans and fibroblasts we have something completely different. So the peel, when it reaches that, it's lose, it loses completely um, its ability to act as a peel. And the pH also changes because in the dermis, the pH levels are more alkaline. They're not as acidic. And so it is acting just as something that penetrated to a very live tissue. And this very live tissue is very protective over our body. And once this uh, invasion is detected, the instinct of the, um, the dermis is to strengthen itself. It stimulates the strengthening of it. So it is stimulating um, uh, regeneration of uh, new collagen, fi of fibers of collagen, uh, new glycosaminoglycans. It is tightening uh, for the, the tissue as much as possible. And of course, um, we need to, if we want to have a dermis effect, we need to have a series of peels, let's say like four, five, six or more to have an impact like that. And we have to take into account the client's or, um, age and the state they, they started the treatments. But I can tell you from my own experience that when you do it as a series, you can actually see that not just that we have this beautiful glow and this beautiful structure of the epidermis just from, from the start, with time, we also feel uh, the skin looks tighter and the turgor looks better. That will happen between three to four months from the beginning, from the first time we did the peel. And it is very nice to know that. And I, I encourage you to write down the, the starting date so you will have a look uh, during the time because this will happen maybe even after you finish the series. It's an extra benefit of getting the, the dermis um, uh, more uh, firm. And the reason it's so slow, slower than the epidermis is because of the, um, the collagen fibers, uh, for instance, take time to build. And in order for collagen to be uh, full mature collagen, it takes about six months. So if we're talking about three months, it's somewhere in the middle there. And this is a good time, three, three and a half, you will see that you have a better turgor. So I just pointed out for you so you can check it for yourself. So this peel is suitable for many conditions. It's not just for anti-aging as I applied. It is very good for anti-aging. It's also very good for hyperpigmentation. We also use it in acne. We actually use it almost in any treatment, especially uh, in um, uh, first time treatment. And it is suitable for all Fitzpatrick types. It is um, being used uh, also in other, um, uh, we can use it also in, in pregnancy, but with, with pregnant ladies, we don't give series. We just give sporadic treatment, mild treatment, but you can definitely use this peel. This peel, the G Peel 50 Nano Constructed Gel, is another variation uh, of a peel that contains glycolic acid, 50%, with pH under one. This peel is actually the same concentration, the same pH, so why do we have 
a second pill that has the same concentration and the same pH. Wouldn't it be activating just as, as, as the other one, as the G pill? Well, in this case, it is located within a nanoconstructed inorganic matrix. This is um, kind of a, a gel, tixotropic gel, that is uh, based on um, microsilica. And the, the, this uh, inorganic uh, matrix is capturing the molecules of the glycolic acid very evenly, spreading it very evenly and pulling it much faster and stronger into the tissue. On top of that, this uh, inorganic matrix uh, causes stronger degrees and to, de degreasing to occur because it's, uh, it's got uh, a degrees, it's, uh, it's quality, uh, got the good quality of degreasing. So we have, uh, when we have degreasing stronger, degreaser, then peel would act stronger. You know that before peels, we use degreasers, but here we have an ex extra oomph to the degreaser. And the gel itself, because of the structure, cause the glycolic acid to affect the skin as if it was 70% glycolic acid and not 50%. So this gives us uh, an advantage in a way that if we want to go higher or stronger, we can by using this version of the GPL. We usually use this version on resistant skin or uh, we can also use it um, in different cases of uh, uh, also in acne, even, even though acne is a little, the skin is a little sensitive, but in some cases we can do that, we can use that. We use it in all skins Fitzpatrick's, but basically best to use it up to Fitzpatrick three. Four would be using it lightly, um, just for a few minutes probably, and uh, when we talk about darker Fitzpatrick's. And the best way is to go with a protocol management book, with, which will advise you exactly how many minutes and for whom. And I advise you to follow it because it will give you a precise and a good uh, result without having um, anything unpredictable happening on the way. This pill is called SPL20. It's containing 20% salicylic acid and the pH is under one. The SPL has an affinity to, um, it is um, working very well uh, on the, uh, it's got an affinity to oil. It's, um, it can penetrate deeper into, also into the uh, hair area of the hair follicle. So it's very good for acne, but it's also very good for us when we want to give a stronger peel <laughs> when we want to give a stronger session of appeal, if we use it in layers. If we use it in layers and it is uh, uh, show, you can see it in the protocol management book, when we use it in layers, then it acts strongly because this type of appeal, also we have to consider the amount. Salicylic needs, uh, salicylic, salicylic is acting stronger when you have more of it and it's acting milder when you have less of it. And so we can adjust it to the treatment. This peel is very good as a good companion to a treatment that we start with G peel or G peel nano, because then in the same treatment, we have alpha and beta hydroxy. We usually do the G peel in the beginning of a treatment and the S peel at the end. There are many different ways to end with this peel. It is very good for, um, uh, skin that has oil, uh, oil pro like oily skins and comedons, and of course, um, uh, piacne. And it is also good for just generally for oily skin, just to um, refresh the oily skin. If we use it for one layer, then it would be just refreshment and uh, probably wouldn't peel off like flakes that is typical for salicylic. Uh, but if you have a little wound open or, or anything like uh, after extractions, then you may have a, a, a frosting on that area and it will peel off faster. j -Pil Delicate is also a pill that contains salicylic acid, but it is uh, a mix here of 8% salicylic acid, 14% of lactic acid, and 14% of citric acid. 
this little cocktail it's, it works like a, a a mild kind of Jessner solution if you know the term and it's really good for problems of um, if you have if the client suffering from uh, uh, skin that looks um, untreated some clients come to the clinic and they're not really they're not acnetic and they're not they don't they're not specifically heavy oily skin but you just not the skin just doesn't look so good it's not very it's not glowing and little bumps here and there it's it's been neglected and this one is really good to end a treatment with such a skin it will give a nice smooth look it also gives radiant look and we also use it as a, a sub um, a second peel to the same treatment with the G peel and G peel nano. Again, the G peel will be in the beginning of the treatment or G peel nano. And at the end of the treatment, there will be the J peel delicate for treatments like uh, anti aging, hyperpigmentation, um, skin that looks that needs a little uh, oomph. We use that and it's very good. Uh, it's very easily tolerated on the skin. And of course, it contains the derm shield like all the rest of our peels. And we can also have layers with it, but I, uh, for layers uh, with uh, salicylic acid, because the salicylic acid is actually, uh, the amount is important and, and uh, is, uh, you know, when you use 20% of salicylic acid and you have layers, then it will give the flakiness or the peel off with flakes. Uh, here, the salicylic is a little lower on purpose because of this cocktail that we want. So for, in order for us to use salicylic for a, a strong, stronger uh, flaky kind of effect, we would probably choose the S peel and sometimes even apply on it retinol. And you would see it in the protocol management book. And of course, it needs to be followed like the book suggests and uh, better to follow the uh, instructions um, that is clearly uh, showing which for each case how to work with it. PPL20. PPL20 is peruvic ice, uh, a kind of uh, peel, peruvic based peel. Peruvic acid is alpha ketu acid, which is lipophilic in nature, and this is why it's rapidly uh, penetrating. It is very strong. And again, in this case, uh, the amount also counts. We can give one application, or we can give two or three applications. That would make a difference just like with the S peel, okay? Because uh, this, this uh, peel has uh, also um, uh, the ability to act fast when you, uh, because of the amount, because of the structure and it's uh, because of the lipidic nature. We use it for uh, many cases, but the, pro the important thing to know is to work with resistant kind of skin. Uh, we don't use it with sensitive skin usually, unless uh, the protocol calls for it. Uh, it's very, very effective for many different uh, cases. It's very good, of course, for anti-aging and uh, hyperpigmentation, but also for acne in the middle uh, progress stages and in the post-acne as well. And uh, in pigmentation, it's very well advised uh, during a series. Uh, to, to use it. The PPL20 can be used with uh, all Fitzpatrick's, but uh, the amount, because it counts, you need to follow protocol. Some uh, cases you need to use only one layer, and in some cases you can uh, do more than one layer. But the, another point here that is uh, that I wanted to state, that clients or patients that have acne, uh, let's say acne in the back or shoulders or a wide area, um, it's very hard to work with them with salicylic, even though salicylic is very good for acne. But you cannot take salicylic and use it for very um, for wide area. You can't have like a, a facial with salicylic and then go and spread salicylic on the back and start putting on layers. That would be considered or already toxic because there, uh, salicylic is um, you, is safe to be using in uh, in a certain amount of. Uh, uh, in each treatment. So if you have a need to work, let's say for acne in uh, big areas, then best to choose pyruvic based peel and uh, if it's in the body. And pyruvic is actually a peel that is based, pyruvic acid is something that the body knows. 
we actually have it within our body. The body produces it in its metabolism process, just like we have like lactic acid in our body. So it is not toxic to the body. You can use it uh, ex extensively and you have no toxic effect. So this is one thing that is important to remember when we talk about the PPL20 and generally speaking also for the PPL40. Um, some other little points that I wanted to clear about this peel. You can um, do it, like I said, single treatment or several, uh, like a series. And you need to, if you have a series, and if you, for instance, you have, you, you build up layers, uh, you need to use petrolatum jelly around uh, sensitive areas like the nose, the lips, and the eyes. Um, you uh, don't use it on damaged skin like cuts or open wounds um, because it's very strong. And um, this kind of peel have a distinctive scent. It's very uh, di distinctive and it is dominant. So you need to choose the person, the, the, the patient. First of all, you need to tell the patient that and you need to check that they don't, they're not asthmatic or have any other problems with the respiratory system because it may be a little strong for them. And advise to open the window or choose a little fan to use and that would take care of the uh, scent. Pyruvic 40 is uh, another pyruvic type peel. It's actually 40% of pyruvic acid plus 5% of, of uh, lactic acid. It's a stronger version of our pyruvic uh, type of peel. It is suitable for everything that I said about the PPL20, but in this case, mostly working with Fitzpatrick 1 to 3. Sometimes you can see that it's, it's applied for one layer in, in Fitzpatrick 4, but mostly in Fitzpatrick 1 to 3 and only in resistant skin. This is important because it is very strong. And uh, the Pyruvic 40, uh, when you apply it in layers, let's say three layers or so, um, it is, um, and you, you give a, a series and you build up to it, it is very closely affecting the skin, very closely like a medium type of peel. It's between, the, it, it's between superficial and a medium type in its nature but still very safe to use. Uh, mind you, Pyruvic is stronger than, um, uh, is more, a little more aggressive than glycolic. So even though we have the downshell technology, we have to work by protocol, but sometimes you may feel, you may see some um, maybe redness or, or uh, things like that. You don't need to be worried about that. If it was without the derm shield, it would be a burn and this wouldn't be nice. So it's not going there, but still you can see some side effects because it's very, very strong and it is manageable. It's not a problem. Uh, and you go and follow the protocol and uh, you get really, really good results with this one. And of course, also with the Pyruvic 20 and with the s -peel, with j -peel Delicate, with uh, g -peel, g -peel Nano, it's all on the case. And uh, actually the skin really likes the changes and the build up. So if you have a Siri, you have a chance to build up to something. And during that time changing uh, this treatment with this peel and the other treatment with that peel, you would see it in a protocol. It shows you a variety and the skin responds very well to this variety. And I believe that uh, when you start working with the peels, you would see it yourself. The beauty of changing uh, and the beauty of using different kind of uh, peels and the, the extra um, good results you get from doing such a thing. Okay. Now I would like to talk about some of our home products and then we'll go over a case study. And the reason I want to start with these home products uh, is because it's... Uh, it's a base of treatment for each and every client, no matter if they came to the clinic just for a short facial or they came for a Siri. Uh, the following products, there are three, the first three that I'm gonna talk about are lactic acid based. And the first of the three is called Lacto-10. 
And lacto-10 con is uh, containing 10% lactic acid and 3.5, the pH is 3.5. Uh, and it was determined by research, by impartial research, that lactic acid or alpha hydroxy acid, if you use it in at least 10% and up, with a pH that is at least is that is uh, at least 3.5 and down, only then it can affect the turnover of the cells, meaning to, it affects the activity in the basalic layer to regenerate. And like we said in the beginning, we're not looking only for, uh, you know, getting rid of dead cells in the, in the upper layer. That's not the only thing we want to get from a peel. We need to get a, a good turnover of the cells. So we need to get something that would cause us uh, regeneration. And lacto-10, because of these parameters, lacto-10%, lactic acid, pH 3.5, is a daily way of getting regeneration within your epidermis and healthy, faster turnover. I call it um, a gym for the skin. It is getting the basalic lace, less lazy. And you can see pretty fast within just a few weeks how good the skin looks. It looks more uh, um, moist, it looks more even, and it is actually helping the skin to get better results from other active ingredients and other products because the skin is ready. It is healthy and it is um, functioning well. So this product, Lacto 10, is actually suitable for all skin types. If you're not sure which version of lactic to give a client, you won't go wrong by giving this one. It's, good, it's so good for everyone. It can be good even for someone who has uh, seborrhea. It's actually very effective in seborrhea cases. We sometimes give it together with another product called Acne Solution, or we sometimes give another product for that, but it is something that can help the skin uh, to come to a point where you can hardly see there is a problem. And so this, this is why I'm saying this, one of these lactic acid products should be with every treatment for every client for home use. It doesn't matter again if it's for a um, series that they can for or just for one treatment. If they want to have a healthy skin, it's just the same with brushing their teeth. It's just the same. They just brush their skin. And it's, it's, uh, if I need to choose when a client comes to my clinic and I need to choose which product I'm going to give them at first, because they cannot take maybe more than one or they decided they just want to invest in one, then I would always go for one of the lactic acid. I would not go uh, for a very sophisticated uh, products like retinol, which is gold standard in, uh, in cosmeceuticals or peptides. I would firstly go to the base to get a better uh, functioning skin. Always start with that. And next time she, that the client comes, they can add up products. Or if they don't have a problem in investing more than one product, or if they came on in purpose of treating a problem like acne, anti-aging, hyperpigmentation, then they need more products in that case. Then you can sell them at the same time. But this one is, is for, uh, that's the starting point. This is another version of lactic acid product. It's called Lactoceramide 15. It contains ceramides 2, 3, and 6. And um, just wanted you to see this little scheme here. You can see that uh, with the years, we lose a lot of our ceramides that are located in the protective barrier. And when we lose that, it is affecting our health, the health of our skin, and also uh, causing uh, um, the moisture to escape and the skin to get drier and to be more vulnerable to the surrounding. And uh, you see that already from the age of 31, it drops down to 62%. And look at that, 41 to 50, already 37%. This is real, a real loss for the skin. So adding the um, uh, ceramides, to the formula helps to support the loss, to support the skin, uh, which is more sensitive, more vulnerable uh, without this part. It's a very important part in the protective barrier of the skin. It's one of the uh, ingredients in the protective barrier. 
because we also have uh, free fatty acids in the protective barrier and we have cholesterol in the protective barrier, but ceramides takes a really big role. And uh, this is why we added that. And of course, it applies to the fact that um, aging, yes, when we get uh, with, the, with the years, we would like to use uh, this uh, form of lacto acid. That would be very good starting from early ages, like or early anti-aging uh, treatment, if the client has dry skin, for instance, and they're 31 and over, they can already start using that. And um, this product is, uh, very, is, is one of the favorites for many clients. They, it's, it's a very su successful formula and we um, see good results with it. It's also good support for um, hyperpigmentation as, uh, uh, as the, at the part of, um, of uh, the um, uh, getting rid of the dead cells and helping to support uh, the skin during the time that we use hyperpigmentation products. All the lactic acids are like that, actually. If you have a client that uh, not using this version and using another version, still, it will be a good support for uh, hyperpigmentation cases, of course, for anti-aging because it is anti-aging in nature. And, um, uh, and uh, we have, let's go for the third one of the three. Uh, it's called intensive hydrogel. Here again, we have lactic acid, 10%, but also salicylic acid, 2%. pH at 3.5. The salicylic acid 2% is helping uh, us to work on, um, uh, it's got an affinity to the to oily skin. So it's helping the skin to uh, soften or melt a little bit these uh, uh, oily components in there. It helps open uh, comedons a little bit, softening the skin, getting it easier to uh, work when you work in the clinic. If a client use that, for a few, few weeks, uh, you would feel and see that it's easier extractions in the clinic as well. And uh, this makes this product very good for uh, um, acne uh, prone skin, uh, mainly comedonica, but also active states of acne, which we need. One of the symptoms in acne is that we have the clogged area. Yes, the, the clogged area of um, uh, the, sebus the subacus gland is, is producing too much sebum and then too many, uh, it's like hover keratosis in there as well. And we have this little uh, block uh, of um, comedon. It, it's very helpful to open it up. So we, when we work with acne, we use that as well. Okay. Now we got to the case study. Our case study here uh, shows you a case of a girl. She's um, 28 years old, uh, soccer player. Uh, she used to, um, she had an outburst of acne when she was a little younger and uh, she got prescribed, she was prescribed Rakuten and was exposed to the sun without protection using Rakutan, which is very sun sensitive, sensitizing. Uh, she got um, a lot of hyperpigmentation uh, going on her face. On top of that, she used to pluck hairs in the chin and that also caused the skin to develop some more hyperpigmentation. If we look at the picture, we can see that she has over here, she has melasma type of uh, hyperpigmentation. She has uh, solar lentigo, like the round ones here. She has in the chin area, she has because of the plucking and, and annoying this area, she got more pigmentation. So it's a combination case. And her Fitzpatrick was needed to be four. So she came to us and we started working with her. These were the products she received from home for home care. Her state was severe, so this is why she has so many products. And um, it doesn't show here, but the treatment in clinic, uh, we started uh, with a G peel and, uh, and J peel delicate, but soon enough we moved to the peruvic type peels. Uh, because we gave her a Siri and uh, we worked with her with, with a very good results. 
this is the after five months uh, photos. You can see how well the skin looks. And when we talk about the products rela relating to this case, you will be able to understand the results we see here because it's a combination between working at home, which is 70% of her time, 70% uh, of success in our field is home products and 30% is in clinic treatments. And she was doing both. And in hyperpigmentation, just like in acne, it's very advised to do both if you wanna progress fast. You can still progress very well if you give only home products, but no doubt that using treatments in clinic encourage the skin to get better faster. And uh, about acne that I mentioned just a minute ago, there it's actually a must because in many cases, it's hard to get uh, progress without in-clinic treatments. Let's dive in and look at the products that she used. And just before that, if you look at this picture and you look at this one and you compare, you see not only the hyperpigmentation uh, that the results are wonderful. Not only that, you can also see that the quality of the skin is much, much better. That is because we work with the active ingredients to encourage regeneration. The home care contained products that does that, and also in clinic, the peels encourage that. So we get in this beautiful uh, complexion comparing to that and just want you to, to understand that many times hyperpigmentation cases are together, are, um, you will see many treatments will be uh, very close to uh, anti-aging treatment. They, they, they both come from the same problems, from the sun and from, uh, of course, more other factors, but uh, they are very well related. So you will see that many times you can get um, extra results for, she came for hyperpigmentation, she got extra results for anti-aging. In her case, we aimed to that because of the solar lentigo spots. When you have solar lentigo kind of spots, it means that underneath the spot, you have damaged skin, which is premature aging signs, okay? This calls for anti-aging uh, products. This will always be something that we need to take in account when you see a young person, she's young, and she already has solar lentigo spots, means she already have faster, um, you know, she got aging faster than her age. And so we have to start early with that when we see something like this. And it's always advised to start early. The in-clinic treatment was every three weeks. This I did not mention. Uh, like I said, we used many, in many uh, treatments, we used, we used a pyruvic-based peel. We also used electroporation device, our triple MCH device with uh, a lift and whitening ampule that we will talk about. That is really a good supplement in the treatment, a good um, add, uh, uh, extra result that we got from it uh, during this treatment. It contains, oligo, oligo, um, it contains oligopeptide 68 and it is uh, very effective in hyperpigmentation. Azaleic 4025 is one of the products that this girl got for home use. Azaleic 4025 contains azaleic acid in 25% and alpha arbutin in 5%. If we look at azaleic, uh, the, the, um, uh, it, it is an amazing kind of acid. It's multi-talented acid. It is carotolytic. It is a uh, tyrosinase inhibitor. It's antibacterial anti-androngonous, anti-inflammatory. It works for comedon prone skin. It's antioxidant and antifungal and viral. This is a really multitask uh, acid. This is why we use it both for hyperpigmentation, but also for acne treatment. And in her case, because her history was acne, and now she did not have acne anymore, but she had the problem with hyperpigmentation, this prob, product is extremely good for her. 
And we usually use this version when we have a severe case of hyperpigmentation or a severe case of acne. We use it once a day for dark skin, twice a day for bright complexion. We also have a, ver a variation of this one on um, medium cases, and the product is, is called Double White. In this product, you will see we have as a lake 20%, not 25%, and 5% alpha arbutin, which is also a melanin inhibitor. And it is combined with the stable uh, kind of vitamin C, uh, which, which is called our Bitsy serum. Uh, containing uh, vitamin C that is uh, in high percent, it's 11%, and it is a new generation vitamin C. We will talk about the product itself, so I will explain more. But this combination, we would probably give in a medium uh, or uh, light cases, but still some, even some severe cases, are, it's good for them. But if we have to, if we looking at this case, we decided on going on the stronger version, and then to supplement it, we had to give the Vitsi serum as if we are doing our new double white, like you saw before, but a stronger version of it. And Vitsi serum, when I said stable kind of vitamin C, it's a derivative of vitamin C. Uh, it is, um, this derivative, derivative is uh, two derivatives actually, ascorbyl glucoside, which is water soluble and penetrates the epidermis and tetraisopalmitat, which is oily soluble, oil soluble, and it's penetrating the dermis part. And then we have coverage of an antioxidant, which is also in this percent, it's also uh, works on the melanin uh, as a melanin, in, as, um, uh, melanin inhibitor, as well as brightening the spot that is already there. And it is very effective because it's covering both the epidermis and the dermis. One thing to bear in mind about vitamin C, just a little point that I want to make, is the uh, first generation vitamin C is called L-ascorbic acid. It is still used by this day. You can see it in products, you can see it in, in um, different um, uh, treatments as well, but this type of vitamin C is uh, not stable, as well as very irritating. And the newest versions of the derivatives, they are non-comedogenic. They don't cause irritation. You can give it to anyone, even oily skin. And uh, I know that um, uh, sometimes uh, sensitive people afraid to use vitamin C, maybe it will sensitize the skin. In this case, it is a very comfortable to use, very uh, stable and a good formula and you can give it even to sensitive skin, there won't be any serious problems unless they are um, allergic to vitamin C. Okay. Okay, another product that we gave her for home use is called Retinol Charisma. And Retinol and Cosmeceuticals, uh, it's, uh, it's, um, actually the gold standard uh, in cosmeceuticals because it's got so much effect on so many different areas of uh, the skin, of course, in our body, but we are talking about the skin. And retinol has a balance, balancing effect uh, on many different types of cells within our skin. It's actually causing very uh, strong effect on some on on different areas to impact so many things together that uh, the result is a younger looking skin. It increases the turnover of the cell. It's a uh, it's a um, uh, very important part in differentiation of cells, and uh, it's got uh, it's assisting whitening process when we work. It is balancing the sebocyte gland, uh, the oil secretion, so we have the sebum balanced. Like if uh, for oily skin, it will balance it, it will make the oily uh, components to be more balanced, less overflowing. And if it's dry skin, it cannot cause the skin to get oily, but it will make uh, the skin much better condition and also help uh, to balance the, their uh, uh, sebocyte glands too. In addition to retinol, 
and we use the pure version of retinol. We don't use derivatives like retinyl palmitate or retinyl acetate, which are weaker in nature. We use a strong version of uh, the, the retinol, uh, pure retinol. Uh, then the, the uh, effect is very strong. Uh, it's almost, the effect is almost like uh, tretinoin or like uh, retinoic acid, but it is not retinoic acid. It is retinol. It is uh, uh, good for use and allowed to be used in cosmeceuticals. And uh, it is not uh, dangerous in pregnancy, pure retinol. It is not uh, retinoic acid. So we can use it even during pregnancy if we want, usually in the, uh, the lower percent, 0 0.3 if we, we, if we want. Uh, and combined with retinol, there is oligopeptide 68 that I mentioned before. It's an innovating whitening agent that reduces appearance of dark spots. It's very helpful. It's, it works like a team together. Of course, if the treatment is a hyperpigmentation treatment, that wouldn't be just the only product I give. I need to give the azelaic-based products like the um, azelaic 25 or double white uh, in order for it to work in synergy and to get the best results because hyperpigmentation is a very complex issue and we need to cover it from all angles that is possible to get good results. Uh, retinol is very helpful in case where you have uh, in hyperpigmentation, especially in cases where you see solar lentigo, just, by, just like I explained that solar lentigo is a sign of, of uh, aging, premature aging many times. And, they, they most likely have some damaged skin under the, the spot. And so retinol here is essential to get, uh, to get, to help the skin to regenerate and to get better healthy skin. Um, together with these two, we have lantopodic acid, which is a very strong antioxidant. It's good for us, but it's also good for the formula because retinol, for it to be very potent, like we would like it to be, needs to be protected. It's a very sensitive uh, ingredient, and lantopodic acid works well with it and protects its activity, keeping it all the way of use, keeping it potent and, uh, and uh, functioning well. Another interesting ingredient is called prefluorocarbon emulsion. This emulsion uh, is uh, based on uh, emulsions that are used uh, that are used also for patients that have problem with big wounded areas. Uh, they're used in different for, um, ointments uh, for clients that are for patients who were hospitalized for some reason, like uh, maybe big wound or, or that occurred because of a burn or because of diabetic big wounds or things like that. These patients usually um, treated in oxygen rooms. It's oxy oxygen under pressure, it's the pressure rooms, and that is very effective when uh, working with uh, big wounds because uh, the um, uh, bacteria that's sitting there, uh, many of them, most of them, they don't like oxygen. They are anaerobic in nature, and this way they're we get we get uh, them less active and it's helpful for healing process. Uh, another thing that oxygen does is uh, when we use it in cosmetics, first we can use it in acne and I will show you later, but in this case it is actually helping uh, to uh, get some stimulation to uh, revive the skin, to help the metabolism process. It's a very good combination together with the, with the event of uh, turnover because by retinol. So this whole formula, not just the retinol itself, the whole balance formula gives you excellent results with a glowing skin and a healthy, healthy kind of look. And we work very well with it for uh, fine lines. Uh, the firmness of the skin evidently looks better. Uh, it, it makes the texture refined and uh, the skin a little lighter but with a healthy, healthy kind of glow, like we saw in the picture here. This, the good areas here, you can see this healthy look. This is because of this formula. Of course, also with the treatments and also with the lift and whitening ampule and also with the lactic acid. It's a combination, they work together, but it has a big uh, part of it. This is a, a, 
this is a time to say that sometimes I get questions from uh, uh, from from people. Well, if this is such a good regenerating product, why do I need lactic acid in addition? Uh, I have to say that I know how it works without, and I know how it works with. And when it's with, the results are extremely better. And the reason is that the retinol and the lactic acid they are working as a team. Lactic acid. Uh, it's known by research that when uh, the when the cells are uh, after differentiation that is caused uh, during the, the turnover of the cell, the start the process, and retinol is involved in that. After that, the, the cells are being pushed upward and the lactic acid is a good organizer. It helps to organize the cells when they are, they are pushed upwards more tightly and more, more evenly. And this is a quality that comes from lactic acid. Retinol, is involved in the process of differentiation and, and fast uh, uh, increase process of turnover. Okay, so they work as a team. So it's always best to sell them together, to give them together. And if the client wants to start treating with new products, as I said before, if they want to go only for one product, best to start with the lactic. And afterwards, when they're capable or able or want to, they may add the retinol to uh, their treatment regimen. Another product we used in clinic with the electroporation device and also at home is called Lift and Whitening uh, Complex. It is based on peptides, based on uh, metric seal and uh, cyclopeptide 24, which do both work on the structure, the firmness, the boosting the firmness of the, of the skin, they're helping the skin to get firmer. There are um, metric in mim uh, mimic peptides, uh, and they work um, like imitating uh, the activity of other enzymes that usually do this job in the skin. They are imitating this. And the results of these two together, combined with the other ingredients, give us something like that. Okay, it is reducing reducing the fine lines, even the deeper wrinkles, you can see much better. The structure is much firmer, even a little brighter, you can see here. She doesn't have hyperpigmentation, yes, but you can see that the skin, even though it, doesn't, it is brighter and more uh, glowing, okay? And this is the work of a team, which is this one, uh, the metric seal, the cyclopeptide 24, and oligopeptide 68, is working on appearance of dark spots. In her case, there are no dark spots, but still it's good to have it. No problem to have it in the formula. Like I said, many treatments for hyperpigmentation and anti-aging, they are uh, very much linked. So it's always good to do that, to have that inside, inside the, in, as a, an ingredient. And there is an, another ingredient called uh, Swetaria Chirata extract. And it is actually promoting the, keratinocy the keratinocytes growth factor. It improves thin skin and wrinkled skin. So as we see here, this is a, a kind of a concert of all of these ingredients together. Another interesting product and very supportive product we used in treating that girl uh, is called Igloo Moist. And Igloo Moist is a moisture, it's a multitask moisture. It fits and it's suitable for all skin types and all conditions. It is hydrating, it is cooling. You can actually feel cooling sensation on your skin. It is soothing. It's delaying appearance of aging signs, which means it's anti-aging. It improves skin's elasticity and firmness as well. The first ingredient, which is uh, nourishing and smoothing and soothing, is um, oat extract. And oat in 10%, that's a lot. And usually you see oat extract in, you know, like accompanying uh, a formula, it would be one to 3%, not many times would be so high. In this, uh, in 10%, it already is very soothing, smoothing, nourishing, and it is an important part of the formula. We have tripeptide 7 
that is enabling the skin to get more tolerant to the to uh, hazards from the outside, pollution, chemical irritation, sun exposure, anything that is provoking pro-inflammatory cytokines uh, activation. This is uh, enables the skin to be more relaxed and uh, then be less reactive when exposed when we expose to the sun. And actually, it promotes um, hyper. Uh, uh, it is part of a treatment against hyperpigmentation to reduce stress from the skin, because one of the reasons of um, over uh, of, of pigmentation formation, especially in dark complexion, is when the skin is already also agitated, not just by the sun, but also from free radicals or pollution. They get more nervous and they get they produce more melanin. So it is very well advised to be using ingredients like this to reduce stress from the skin. And again, especially if it's a dark skin, but also what the, just the same for a bright complexion. Uh, the next ingredient is sodium hyaluronate, which is hyaluronic acid in very high priority, and it gives deep uh, hydration. This is why it's suitable for all skin types. And an interesting ingredient here, which is based on menthol, but is, it is uh, uh, it built in a unique technology. It's advanced cooling technology that induce nerve impulse of cooling sensation. So if you're familiar with the ingredient uh, menthol, for instance, that has a strong mint smell, and when it's applied on the skin in a formula, it gives you cool sensation, it comes from there, but it's in a special technology without the scent of menthol, and it leaves this cooling sensation. So when you apply the product on your skin, you get the benefit of all of this. From my own experience, and I love this one, when I apply it on my skin, straight away I feel relaxed. My skin is a sensitive type of skin, and straight away I feel comfort. comfort. It's not that before that I felt any sensitivity, but once I apply it on my skin, I realize, wow, now it's much better. So what happened before? <laughs> before probably, you know, we have the surrounding and because my skin is a sensitive type, I probably have some uh, discomfort, which I don't detect. It's not that I feel right now I'm sensitive and dis I have discomfort, no. But I have extra comfort when using this one and it's actually straight away. It's really nice. Another product we gave this uh, girl is Multibeat Sun Protector with a SPF 30. In this uh, particular case, but in all hyperpigmentation cases, um, we, use, we sometimes use uh, more than one sun protector. And there is a reason for that. Usually when a person go, goes out of home and they apply a sun protector, about a uh, about two hours afterwards, the skin is not protected enough anymore and you need to reapply and creams are difficult to reapply. So after we finish talking about multi-vit, uh, which have more benefits that I wanted to point out for you, we will talk about an extra sun protector that we give during the day for the reapplication. You could use either this or that. But I uh, strongly advise you that in uh, hyperpigmentation, especially in darker complexions, use both. One in the morning to get also the skin uh, in a good condition to start the day, uh, resistant to uh, all kinds of hazards because it is also helping to uh, be resistant from uh, stress. And the other one is during the day with the brush that we will talk about, that will be for reapplication to make sure that during the day we are still protected. Multivit Sun Protector has two types of uh, ingredients that are uh, used for the sun protection itself. It is a maximum combination of potent ingredient for UVB, IR, and uh, uh, diff different radiations from instruments like our cell phones, our computers, and so on. Uh, there are two kinds of um, sun protectors. One is uh, organic uh, chemical sun protector, and the other one is titanium dioxide, which is a, a physical sun protector. The chemical sun protector in our product is 
within, it's located within a silica shell. It's a micro silica shells that contain the sun protector in order for it to stay encapsulated. This is not a type of shell that breaks and opens while, while you spread, because there are kinds of, of uh, shells like that as well. You know, microcapsules of each of different kinds are known to be opening in purpose to get opened on the skin. This type of shell is designed no, not to open. It stays intact in one piece and inside it holds the organic uh, chemical sun protector. And in this way, we get the sun protection active without it touching our skin directly because some people are a little sensitive to chemical type of sun protection. And you may have noticed that some people react to different sun protection sometimes in like itching or discomfort because they may be uh, sensitive to chemical sun protectors. In this case, you won't have that problem because of this shell. There won't be direct touch with the skin, okay? It will be kept in a capsule, in a silica shell, and it will be active, it will protect the skin from, from the sun and from radiation, but it will not cause irritation. The other type of sun, blo uh, sun uh, block that we have is titanium dioxide based. This is a sun block that it is based on uh, mineral titanium dioxide. It is a micron, uh, micron structure and it, it is uh, working in synergy, it works very well together with the uh, organic uh, chemical sun protector. So we have both. In addition to that, we have vitamins because as, as I mentioned before, when we're exposed to the sun, there is a lot of stress that the skin is under, not just the radiation, also free radicals and pollution. And when we use uh, this cocktail of vitamins, we make sure that the skin is not agitated too much by that. On top of that, we have an element called ectoin. This ingredient, it's a very interesting ingredient. This one is coming from a microorganism, microorganism that lives in harsh conditions and has to protect itself from the surrounding. So when it is inserted in, when the ectoin that is coming from this microorganism, if this ectoin is inserted uh, into a formula, it makes sure or it helps the skin to be less reactive to harsh condition, makes the skin more immune, more, more, more strong uh, when facing harsh, harsh conditions. And again, from personal use and also from my clients, I can tell you that once you apply this uh, cream on your face, you also feel immediate comfort. And uh, this is, to do with the ectoin, the vitamins, this whole, um, I again say with a dark complexion, I would suggest to use that in the morning and uh, for bright complexion as well. But um, when you work with hyperpigmentation, it is very helpful in reducing stress in the morning when we go out. This is the brush and go. Our brush and go is, um, very popular product. It contains within this tube uh, in micro uh, um, powder, uh, brush and go. It's uh, SPF 30. It works against UVA, UVB and IR based on titanium dioxide micronized. Uh, it also has uh, addition of a dead sea mineral. Um, these are supporting the skin's immunity uh, in, uh, uh, when we want the skin to be more immune to the surrounding. And it's suitable for all skin types. So this type of, of uh, brush, uh, you see this little orange square in the bottom here? This one represents the brush that is suitable for, for all skin types. Uh, we have another brush which is antiseptic, which contains also uh, silver extract and um, uh, some uh, eucalyptus and tea tree uh, uh, oils. 
and they are suitable. This, that would be suitable for oily to problematic skin, but also just uh, it can be used even just to anyone who wants antiseptic type of brush. I have some clients that because of COVID, they want that brush. It doesn't really matter because it's a personal brush. It is for personal use only, but you can have either that or that. Uh, the one with the silver that is uh, for oily uh, com problematic skin does not steal of your moisture. It does not steal of, of uh, uh, anything from your skin. So you can use it even with dry skin. It wouldn't be a problem. And it is very good during the day. Like I said, in the beginning of the day, we can apply a cream. And then when, when we go out to our day, after about two hours, it's not effective anymore. And we really need to to get some to reapply. And if it was uh, easy to reapply creams like this during the day, then we would have used that. But um, I don't think it's comfortable. Only maybe when you go to the beach, you know, if you go out to the beach, then I would advise to use a cream, not a brush. Or wait, when you go to a uh, vacation in the mountains with big winds and you go to, um, let's say, um, ski, that would be best to, to use a cream because uh, of the condition, okay? So always fit the uh, sun protector to the event. This type of sun protection is urban. This is something for daily use, for daily life. Okay, we, now we got to another interesting case. Uh, this case is a case uh, of uh, a guy, um, a guy that came to us, actually a uh, doctor sent him to us uh, because this guy has rosacea in and saburia and uh, the doctor prescribed antibiotics and then prescribed um, steroids and he alternately used that uh, for a long time and at some point it stopped helping him and he, they didn't know what to do. So uh, he came to us and uh, I'm gonna tell you what we did with him, but just want you to see the beautiful results um, and, and, and the happy guy that he is today. Uh, Rosacea and Saburia, these, and to have two, both of them, it's pretty hard to, to live with both of them and very tricky to work with that. And this guy came with very sensitive skin. Yes, you can see that. So in the beginning, uh, we couldn't um, do strong in-clinic treatments with him. So we worked with electroporation device uh, with an ampule call called Acno uh, Complex, uh, which is this little one, this little guy we, we will show you. Uh, we worked with that in the beginning without the peels. We gave him for home in the beginning uh, that and um, hydration and lactoceramide 15 to start gradually. And afterwards, after a short while, within a week or two already as the lake 40, 25, and of course the sun protection was there all the time. And then we could, cut, we could treat him in the clinic and we had some sessions with him with pyruvic acid and it was very successful. And it was beautiful that this, um, uh, when you work on a case and you work on some, with someone who is um, uh, taking home products and coming to the clinic, you can actually follow and see uh, the progress that you do. It's uh, in such a case, you have to have in clinic as well. This is why we started with electroporation, which was very good for him, reduced a lot of the beginning, beginning inflammation uh, with our triple MCH device and then the peels. And at home, he used these. This is a two months effect. Let's go over some of the products. Actually, we, we went over the Azaleic 25. We went over the Eagle Moist and the Multivit Sun Protector and the brush. The only one we didn't talk about was Acno Complex. So we will talk about it now but I just want to get to the product, just a minute. There we go. Acne complex is not just for acne, even though the name implies. Acne complex is good for all sensitized skin. We can use it for different 
conditions like seborrhea, rosacea, general sensitivity, delicate skin, um, any type of skin who's going through something, this would give benefit to it. First of all, we have 6% of niacinamid, which reduce sebum secretion, but it's also anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. We have the potassium glycerazinate, which is an ingredient coming from licorice. It is very good for uh, its anti-inflammatory qualities are known. It is extremely soothing. And we have 2% in this formula. Oligopeptide 10, which is uh, a peptide that is treating specifically acne symptoms. But if you apply this sample on clients who don't have acne, it wouldn't uh, aggravate their skin or make them feel uncomfortable. Actually, it's good to have disinfecting measures when you work with a skin that is not in a good condition because you never know what sits there. So uh, generally speaking, this ampule can work for acne, but also for other skin problems like seborrhea, rosacea. Botanical extract are added and sodium PCA for hydration. These are the main three ingredients that are important in this case. And in his case, because he had rosacea and rosacea in his case, as you can see uh, with uh, acne, okay, this required to, tr to be treated uh, with antiseptic, with anything that can work for bacteria. And also, there's a lake that is 25 or 20 you can use. The azelaic acid is working very well uh, against the uh, parasites that sits in the skin um, in, that is uh, causing uh, a lot of the uh, rosacea condition. Okay, he has both rosacea and seborrhea. Let's look at the third case and then I think that we will uh, end for today. So I'll have time to answer your questions. This case is a before and after for acne condition. And as you can see, this type of acne, this one is actually, you can see that the, the pustules, they're not tiny. They're not the type that uh, is only P acne alone. You can see that there is a secondary inflammation, um, mostly Probably in many cases, it's streptococcus, filococcus sitting there. Uh, we went with a, with a protocol and a management book and uh, by Papalapostulosa Severe. And the client has, has used uh, Double Fight. We will talk about this product, Acno Solution, and Acno Complex, which we already talked about, and Retinol Charisma. 1%, a stronger percent. Double fight. Double fight is another product based on azelaic acid. As you can see, we have two tubes here, A and B. In the B is the azelaic acid and 5% uh, alpha arbutin. This works wonderfully as an antibacterial, antimicrobial. Of course, it is also for brightening areas. You know that after pimples and outbreaks, we have, uh, uh, it's very possible to get a spot. And so it is preventing that. And also in the A, we have the lactic acid 10% and salicylic acid 2%, which is actually intensive hydrogel located in an A tube. And why do we use that? That is just like we, we talked before. This is to uh, get the pimples and the, and the um, comedons to open easily, to open up, to get uh, a better turnover of the cells, to get the skin uh, able to uh, release the, the, the blockage that is in there because it is clogged and you want to release it. Combined with giving double fight, she was giving acne solution. What is acne solution? And why do we give it in acne cases? Acne solution, its purpose is to give a hard life to the bacteria. As you know, uh, P. acne is anaerobic bacteria and it really does not like, uh, uh, it does not like oxygen. It needs um, 
also it needs uh, that the surrounding would have a higher pH. This is why when we use acids on an acne type uh, problem, we always want to encourage the pH to be lower because then the bacteria doesn't like to sit, okay? Usually acne conditions, the pH levels change to more alkaline than the normal uh, pH levels and acne can sit easily. So we want to cause a hard life to the bacteria, firstly by using acids and secondly by using, let's say in this case, 30% of peripheral carbon emulsion, which is the oxygen emulsion to give hard life to the P acne, niacinamide, which reduces this, helps to reduce the sebum extraction to help less conjunction and help to get as an anti-inflammatory and antibacterial uh, agent. Oligopeptide 10, just like in the ampule that we saw before, which is also a peptide uh, that is treating acne symptoms. And uh, extract of wild oat to help reduce level of inflammation. So this one is reducing sebum, reducing inflammation, improves the moisture levels, so the skin won't get too dehydrated. Uh, it is um, non-carotolytic in its uh, nature. It's a very nicely tolerant on the skin. And you can use it, not just in daytime, you can use it all day. We usually give, when we work with acne cases, in such a case like you saw, we give the double fight twice a day, for instance, and the acne solution twice a day. And you can tell your client, you can you, they can put it in their bag or the pocket and use it during the day, just because it's uh, transparent, just on the, the problematic areas, if they have a need or the, they want to, they can do that. It is not a dryer for uh, spots, okay? It is uh, working all day long, even just by applying twice a day on as antibacterial, reduce sebum, inflammation, irritation, and it's a good supplement to the active, uh, to the uh, acids. By using these to this product and this product, we cover all symptoms that we need to cover in treating acne. We can always have a discussion on, on each subject like acne, hyperpigmentation, anti-aging. We can have a whole uh, Zoom meeting on each of, of the subject. It's very interesting. But today, I will not go too much in depth. Today, we have an overview over our approach, our products, the downshift technology, and your questions. This one, these two we already talked about, the retinol and the acne complex. The retinol in this case is extremely helpful, but not in very early stages of inflammation. It is given in a later stage when you don't have too much inflammation already, because otherwise retinol would a little bit aggravate the skin, but it's amazingly helpful to reduce sebum even, even more and to regenerate the skin and to get better healthy skin. As you can see here, it's a really nice healing that the skin went through. Uh, in Clinique, I haven't mentioned it, but in Clinique, we had, in Clinique, we had, uh, we had also worked with uh, the electroporation device, our triple MCH, uh, to support the treatment. And the ampules help in the, uh, all during each treatment, but uh, mainly in the first treatments, at least to reduce inflammation. It's really helpful in reducing inflammation. Many cases when clients come to the clinic and they are in a very inflammated state, you are afraid to touch them and you feel like, oh my goodness, I can't even use a peel. If you work with electroporation device, like our professional uh, electroporation device, um, it is very helpful to reduce it faster. Well, you can invite your client, use the acne complex ampule, work with the device, send them home and get them back again a day or two after. The skin will look much better and much more ready for your treatment. Okay, people, I really enjoyed being with you today and I'm sure that we will have a lot of things to discuss uh, maybe in the next meeting. If you would like meetings like this, 
uh, and you would like to discuss more of our products that we didn't discuss or other topics, please let us know. Uh, we will do our best for you for that uh, to that to happen. And um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you so much.